Hi Deandra, how are you? So basically I'm just going to show and explain how my final wayfinding map works um, as I find it easier to explain rather than on paper than um, by video as I think it will just get the message across of what basically my project is about. So basically I get, went with the idea of the two alter egos one being Mrs. Blue Sky and the one Sebastian and how um, dividing it into two butterfly wings representing a butterfly. I had decided to stick with the butterfly rainbow because I then just like took out the lines as it represents the message I wanted to get across as cross better. Um, having that thermometer effect and ways of getting colder and in terms of showing my growth and the way I find myself, in terms of the cold side getting higher, higher, and then going up to being warm, and finally the growth is established there. So each side represents two alter egos. In the middle, it represents a little wheel of these alter egos. And then on the bottom, it explains the key and how each color of each of the rainbows, as I'll explain now, um, represents the feeling of how the journey began in order to become these alter egos and how the growth eventually happened at the end. So I'm just going to start here and just explain. So let me just move this quickly. So it's hard to do this with one hand. Um, at the mo so here we start with the purple and at purple here we will start with Sebastian first so Sebastian is an alter ego of mine that I had created when I was in grade 10 he's like a boy version of myself um, but he represents basically the creativity about myself and my work and everything about how I perceive my work and how I see it and how I represent it in terms of how I truly am and who Sebastian is so purple, here we can see means, purple means creativity and how it was the base and ground. So when it came to Sebastian, I know he was the light and how this time when Sebastian was born, it became the time when I first discovered creativity and so forth and how um, I knew how I was creative and how I started to discover my style and who I am and what I'm truly... Um, for instead of like doing these styles that are not for me and then here for Mrs. Blue Sky I had said purple is a transformation it's the start of a new journey so when Mrs. Blue Sky was born I had gone through a difficult time and I had just finished matric and I was depressed and well in the beginning I was in a happy transformative time because I've just finished high school so I thought this is the time that I can really transform myself and this is what had happened and I think this is when the growth began of truly who I am and Mrs. Blue Sky is actually the true reflection of who I am so Sebastian is the creativity side of me and my artistic skills and Mrs. Blue Sky is just overall the true representation of me and then we move on to the blue side. Uh, it's hard to do this on one hand. The blue side I said for Sebastian was order. Having order and knowing at once. With this, I discovered, started to know what was my order and knowing what I wanted in life and what was my goals and what I actually wanted to do. And that's when I discovered what was my passion and what I wanted to do maybe in the future as I was in grade 10 at the time and I discovered started having order and I was like okay this is what you have to do so that was the journey and then with Mrs. Blue Sky blue means can mean depression and this is what I was going through at the time and I think when it comes to a journey we always hit a pothole and that's what had happened with Mrs. Blue Sky and she um, it was a tough time. I had um, had real depression issues. 
I had even then um, was diagnosed with an anxiety disorder. And at the time, I was also diagnosed with um, being a hypochondriac. And every time, every day, I thought of a negative space and I thought I would never get back to the way I was and this is how I am. And I just felt very fragile at the time and felt like I was never going to get anywhere. So moving on to green. So just move with this here. So with green here, I meant health, having a health creative mindset had reflected my work. So with Sebastian, when I had figured out my order, figured out what I like in my creative, I when it came to finding out what I liked, I liked surrealist arts and that it influences my arts even today. And I just really like that style and I, that reflects my style even today as well. And with health, I mean by my mind was healthy. I knew what I want. I started cutting out things that wasn't me because if I like searched an Instagram page and looked into it and looked at all these artists, I kind of felt insecure. And I stopped doing that and I kind of reflected on what was my style and started comparing myself to others. And my mind was quite healthy in terms of my creativity and work and realized, well, you know, this is really doing it for me. And here comes Mrs. Blue Sky. So Mrs. Blue Sky, we can say here, oh, sorry, it's turquoise. Growth, yeah, growth. Growth came first, so being, I then decided to grow more as it became, and then green with the health, and so. So then I'll just move on to turquoise and growth, um, green with Mrs. Blue Sky. So turquoise then represents calm and finally at peace. So eventually at a time, I became more at peace and realized that I need to start moving forward. And that I can't be like this. And I was even put onto um, antidepressants. And then I one day just threw them out. Actually around about this time and Easter time. It's actually two years, two years ago now that I threw away those antidepressants. And no more on it. Relying on it. And yeah. And then I decided to. And I started to grow. And that wouldn't relate to the green color. And how I decided. Then started to grow. And became the person who I am now. Then we can move on to yellow. Okay. So for Ms. Sebastian, yellow means imagination. My imagination was at the highest points at this time. My work was getting better. I was getting high with marks at school. I became the second, I became one of the highest, yeah, second highest um, students in my art class at the time and in the grade and that was a big accomplishment for me because I felt like art was my escape because I actually didn't really do well in my other subjects and I art was my escape and I did really well in it and that shows my passion and ambition ever since I was little and my imagination was was had all these ideas and that was making me feel more powerful in what I was doing with yellow in Mrs. Blue Sky it means happiness in this time, I started to become more happier. I started to surround myself with positive people and cutting the negative negativity out. And then I started to discover my passions and look back at my childhood because that was what made me happy. Then moving on to orange. So orange represents in Sebastian balance. I finally started to see a balance in myself in this growth and I was truly happy with myself. I had balance in my other work, but I knew that I had a goal and my mind was just balanced and healthy at this point and I was really happy going forward. With Sebastian, orange means good energy and warm, feeling happier. During this time, I had reflected a lot on my childhood and things that made me happy and looked at the things where I made happy and cut things out and stopped comparing myself and realized that, you know, and also cut out friends that weren't there and started to realize if, you know, people will come to you because you have good energy and if they don't, that it's not meant to be. And I started to really grow as a person and to really see who I am. And Mrs. Blue Sky was eventually popping out of that cocoon and becoming a butterfly. So I was really happy about that. And the whole point now is that these two 
alter egos eventually come at one when it comes to red. And that's when a symbol symbolism comes through when it gets to the red, the highest and warmest um part of the um thermometer of these butterflies is that these alter egos come as one, as Savannah, as me, and it just symbolizes these two as me as a person as a whole. But let's get to red. So red means desire, passion, wanting to see more about being passionate about things. For Sebastian, I was really passionate and desirable and I had really hit that point and I got distinctions for arts and I had gotten certificates for arts and I was just really happy about my stuff and I felt really strong and I felt really creative. And especially now in varsity, I think... It's like the best thing that has ever happened to me because I've really learned a lot and I'm really happy that I'm doing the thing that I really want. And I thank God every day for that because I'm really happy about that. And Sebastian really pushes me forward to do that. And then perp and then red for Mrs. Blue Sky, Blue Sky means power. I eventually started to see myself in a different light that I've never seen before. I've always had problems with my body and anxiety and stuff and I started like cutting that stuff out and I love my body now I love being who I am and I really started like seeing myself as who I am and like realizing that it's the only way forward and growing even more as a person so in whole my um alter egos are really a true representation of myself and they are me as a whole and I'm really really happy about that so this is my whole explanation of my wayfinding map. Um, I'm really happy about it. It's really a true reflection of who I am. So yeah, thank you.